Hi, um, so it's Tuesday, October 26th. This is PSAT day, and I'm making a video to tell you what we did in class today. First, I went over to the Common Lit quizzes, and if you haven't taken those yet, please do. Just go to commonlit.org, log in, and there are two of these assigned to you. They are included in the first quarter grade, and they're a really good indicator of how things are going for you in our class because we have taught a lot of the content that are in these quizzes. It's also kind of like the reading as well, so it's good practice and it helps you see how you're moving towards that goal. All right, um, so there's that. And then we, we did a non-traditional lesson, so we went on a walk through the woods for about a half hour, even a little longer. And our question is, how do we shape the land? We're thinking still about American Indians and how those Powhatan Indians that John Smith encountered, how they shaped the land to suit their culture, but how he didn't recognize necessarily the ways they were doing it. And they didn't recognize the ways that he was showing them and the Europeans he represented. So we looked at the woods and the trail that goes through them as an example of what happens when a forest is shaped versus unshaped. And then we looked through this slideshow to reflect on that and then read an article all about American Indians burning the land. If you miss the walk, it's a shame, um, but I can happily do it sometime again with you. It's not something that I can easily recreate in this video, but I can tell you that the article covers a lot of the same ideas about how good it is to have prescribed fire in the woods and why that is helpful for the soil and helpful for a culture. And you'll get, the, they'll get, you'll get that main idea by reading the article. We only have time to read about the first half of the article. So if you're watching this video, please just read the first half. Stop at a logical point for you. And the more you read, the better. I mean, it's great and you can read the whole thing, um, but you can stop halfway like we did. Your STEM and your big Google Doc is right here on the slideshow. American Indians burned the land on purpose, because, but, and so. That's our last time with because, but, so. I'm gonna show you quickly the slideshow that we use to set up the burning um, lesson. And before I do that, I'll show you the common lit feedback. So here's how we're doing in the class. This is pretty good. Passing the SOL would be a 60%. Well, we're well above that for most of the categories. The one that was hardest, the immigrants in our own land for, um, this is this is 3B and this is 2B. So for 3B, this is an outlier, I think, the immigrants in our own land is a challenging poem that we didn't go over just to see how you would do. I'm most interested in how we're performing on these ones about the Powhatan Indians. And so 3B, your average was an 81, that's great, and a B. <laughs> And then an 81 again for the more hard um, reading, the Chief Powhatan and his address to John Smith. 2B, almost an A on the, the Pocahontas reading. And then here, this one was harder for 2B. Clearly our scores in general were a little lower. Of course, you can see how you individually performed by logging into Common Lid, where I've released your scores. All right, um, anyway. So the lesson was about this idea of ethnocentrism. Let me move my little webcam around. Here is my point that I made. Indians had shrewd political leaders like Powhatan who tried to deal with the European colonists in a way to maximize their own gains. They traded food for metalwork and guns. Here's a quote that I like. When native met newcomer, the Europeans, both groups tried to benefit, as people will. In almost every case, each side believed itself to be superior. Ethnocentrism seems to be a near universal human quality. And from this belief was convinced that it could control the encounter to its advantage. So the point that I made last week, no one is a victim only, everyone is also an agent, is true here. The Powhatan Indians met those Europeans, really British colonists, and each side was wary of the other and didn't fully understand the other's culture, and also thought that their way were their ways with the land were superior. We studied today, though, the ways in which 
The American Indians ways were superior for them at first, especially because they were surviving and thriving and the Europeans were simply dying. So we talked about that. And then we talked again about the gardening of um, these two different cultures. So on the left, you have a three sisters garden where the corn and the beans and the squash grow together and are mutually reliant upon each other and don't need to be tended as much. And on the right, you have a British style farm with fences, with rows of plants. And then we read this article, like I said, just the first half. And there is your step. That's it.